Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode, we will talk about lit HTML. So, in the previous video, we talked about um, tagged literals, tagged template literals. And this is a very fundamental uh, part of uh, lit HTML. So, it's important to understand it and to work with it right so here you will find a little bit more information about that templates and how they work and how you can create your own top tagged templates right great so what um is lit html well lit html is also a text template and it's a very efficient way to uh, template your html it's basically a very lightweight html templating library it will help you to eliminate uh, virtual DOM diffing and um, it's a very, very, very small piece. So let's take a look at it and work a little bit with it in this tutorial. So first of all, we're going to install yarn at lit HTML, right? Great. So next thing that we're going to do is create an index .html file we're going to put the following HTML into it. What we also need is an index.js file. So here we are. So first we're going to import HTML and render from lithtml.js. Then we're going to use our template. And then we can do render my template, my name. And then we have document.query selector hash container. So now we can serve this by doing npx serve. And that's very important. You need to serve it. You cannot just open up index.html because you will see that you will have a course uh, error. So we need to do that. And then you will see the following result. Hi, my name is yours. It's very basic, right? But you see what the purpose is. So that's great. Another thing that you can do is nesting. So we can nest the templates. We have here template start, template end, and we can nest them all together with start, content, and ends. And then we do here render story once upon a time. And then we have here our container where we put the content in. So it's very basic, but also great to use, right? So let's serve this again. Now we can refresh this and we see nesting templates once upon a time, the end. Another thing that we can do is use click handlers. So we can put here click handler. We do that with the add click, right? And then we can define here a const click handler handle me. Great. When we go to the page now, we can do click me. And when we do inspect, we will see here in the console that we have handle me 
wife so when we click again we see him on me we click again we see him on me again so that's great it works it's very easy to do some kind of uh, handling your native events on your page so that's that's good to know right so within lit html we have also directives so one of them is the repeat directive and that's what we're going to look at right now so we have here our template and our template is um, to do which has items and then we have our repeat directive which has uh, items and which has also a lambda which can give you the unique id and then we have also another template right great then we will have some to do's and then we will have our container element where we will render our html in right so we have here our to do template and then we have our object which is an array of to do's and we'll bind it to the container element in our html page so when we refresh this page we'll see that we have my to do's homework following tutorial and party so thank you for watching this great video about lit html it's a really nice uh, lightweight templating system that you can use within your javascript application and see you next time please subscribe to my channel to see awesome other videos thank you very much